Hello everyone, welcome to this video on my channel and in today's video I am going to be giving you my squad for England's upcoming international break. Now it's going to be a big one because I think this will be this will be the window to judge how good England really are and how much they've got in terms of their chances of, of um, winning the World Cup. Um, I'd say that it's, well, I wouldn't use the last international break so oh much because, um, as Southgate said, he w was experimenting. Not that it's a great excuse, but um, there's going to be players that won't be playing in that, um, or in this, or certainly against Italy and Germany. So hence why, he's, seeing as England have got to go over, for at least four points, then it, you are going to see the best team or the most ideal 11 play for England. Or at least that's what Gareth Southgate will be looking at. But um, let's get into it. So I'll, I'm going to give you my squad because I'm doing it now because normally the um, squad is announced on the Thursday before the international break begins. So, yeah, let's get into it. Goalkeepers, Dean Henderson, Nick Pope, Aaron Ramsdale, they're the obvious three that uh, need to go in there. Uh, I, I, I like what I've seen from Dean Henderson this season. I mean, he did concede the six goals against Man City, but um, Man City do, do battle many teams. But... From what I see in, in August, he Henderson has shown he's back, so um, he's got B in there, and I could even decide to pick him as um, the number one. Um, not fully confident, but um, my gut saying that um, he should start against um, I Italy and then maybe. Germany. I say maybe because um, we don't know as of yet, but I think it's it's a gr he's a, a great pick. Um, tall, saved that Harry Kane penalty. Nick Pope, he, he's been brilliant for Newcastle, and he's been in uh, he's been usually in England squads. And Aaron Ramsdale, yeah, he's frequently in England squads, but he should not be starting. What I saw against Hungary, he was awful. Of course, relegated a few, three different times, including for Chesterfield from League One. Was it League Two? Either way, um, which isn't too much of a knock against him, but clearly he hasn't be he ha hasn't been as good enough to further help them, you could say. And also, as for this season. He made that error against Aston Villa from an in-swinging corner, and also again the goal he can they conceded it. Arsenal conceded against Fulham. He didn't do he didn't proactively communicate to Gabriel to to let him know that Mitrovic was behind him. So I'd say Henderson or Pope should start, um, but them are three goalkeepers. Um, defenders, I've got ten here. Right backs Kyle Walker, Kieran Trippier, Rhys James, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold hasn't had a good season. Although I was considering doing the Gareth Southgate thing and picking, taking all four of them, but when um, when I had to limit it to twenty five, then and this, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold went out. Uh, centre backs: John Stones, Fakayo Tomori, Harry Maguire, Connor Cody. Uh, John Stones, easiest one there. Fakayo Tomori, again obvious. Harry Maguire, um, he hasn't had a good season so far. But Gareth Southgate has said that um, what has been happening won't don't um, affect it, it, um, his thinking, and he is has been one of the best centre backs for England of recent years so he's got to go but starting is another matter and Connor Cody he's be he's um well yeah he's he's been good a solid center back and um 
also who appears frequently for England. Left backs, this is a diff- an interesting, a difficult one. Um, I've got a Ben Chilwell in there because he ha- because um, well he hasn't been playing much, but um, Luke Shaw or hasn't been playing much either. Um, and also Ben Chilwell ha- had shown some some signs of of um, he could get in that Chelsea team course came off the bench to score that goal against West Ham and also um, I, th- I think he'll he's probably one of the best options we could get and the other left back is a difficult one because I'd want to put Aaron Cresswell in there but I the first I, I haven't found out why he's not been playing for England so my other option would be Tyreek Mitchell, who was called up in the March international break. I just, I think, ideally I'd pick Cresswell, but but by the criteria it would probably have to be Tyreek Mitchell. But I'll just put an either or thing there to say that. Um, and then the midfielders, um, well. Centrally, I've got uh, I've got six there. There's Declan Rice. He's one of the first names in the starting eleven. Uh, Calvin Phillips, although he hasn't appeared much for Man City, he's still done enough to say he's got to be in there. Jude Bellingham too. Again, got to start. Uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Um, that's, that's a wild pick because um, obviously Anderson is like getting o- older. Um, he's Hasn't had the best of season. He hasn't been as bad as James Milner, but um, there's probably not much of a necessity to pick him. And I don't really want James Ward Prowse in the squad. Um, Lot of us cheek isn't a completely new option. Southgate has known him before. He offers height and physicality, so I think that's 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 one on that could. could um, be worth a pick and he's been playing regularly for Chelsea uh, Mason Mount don't want him to start but he's still one of the best um, attacking midfielders England have and of course Phil Foden who has to play as a cam in the two games in the international break and then the wide players we've got Sancho Saka, Sterling and Grealish uh, Sancho I think um, has been getting better under Tenag, and um, I think on form he's one of the best attacking options England can can have, and I I think he should go in as Saka fairly frequently for England. He might start, even though I have him second choice, but um, he's had, had had a lot of goal contributions to Arsenal, so he's got to go in. For that other reason too, Raheem Sterling, of course, um, frequent for England, and um, and then Jack Grealish also, um, he's been rotated a lot, but um, he can he can give it as we know he can be impactful from off the bench. Uh, next, we go to someone who's versatile on the front three, uh, Marcus Rashford. Would I start him? No, but. Um, He's been getting a bit better, and um, given that Calvert Lewin's injured, and um, there's not many other standout in- out strikers England could choose, or maybe Callum Wilson. Um, although he's been benched, um, I'll stay with Rashford for now, but possibly I could look at Callum Wilson. Because uh, well, Rash- Rashford might be the third best option we can get striker wise, but someone he can play he could play anywhere along a front three. But I as for the other strikers, Harry Kane, obvious pick. He's a captain. Goals speak for himself. And the next best is Tammy Abraham, who um, of course is at Roma and. Um, Get gets goals there, so um, yeah, that's my twenty-five man team squad. Um, what do you think? Who would you pick? And um, 
uh, I might, I'll probably do a reaction to the squad and I'll probably do some Nations League predictions if that's going to be favoured amongst um, you guys. But there's my video. I'm going to end it here. So, um, so England can get the points they need and stay up. Have a good day.